will be all over the place. That's cool. Big contrast. Well, there is the tell of the tape for Ilias Mardi in the red corner. 23 years old from Paris, France. He's got a three and one record. If there is a criticism, it's that all three wins have come by way of decision. And he's looking for his first stoppage here at Karate Combat. <laughs> The statuesque figure of Owen Chelmia fighting out of Arles in Ireland, although originally born in London over in the UK, studying electrical engineering as a research student at university, but he's been putting quite a record together here at Karate Combat 2-0 leading into this title fight. Wow, zero movement. He didn't even blink at me. Was he breathing? <laughs> <laughs> no breathing. There we go. It's interesting, Owen Chelmia's main coach is his mother, who's never missed really any of his fights and, uh, you know, really does give him the inspiration he needs with his performances so far. Ready? Ready? There we go. Our referee, Mark Goddard, gets this one underway. No touch of gloves. Five three-minute rounds, should they need them. And Chelmia opens up first with a kick to the legs from the center of the pit. And here we go. Let's see what happens with movement. Look at that, using the wall. Yeah, good body lock from uh, Mardi, but yeah. Chelmia floats up against the wall, looks for that little Uchimata. And he's got to be careful, he's not backed up here. Good kick of the nice. leg from Mardi, but quickly wrapped up in guard to stop the action from Chelmia. But it's a nice first sequence from the Frenchman. Yep. Josh Palmer, Bas Rutten, and the Dragon, Lyoto Machida, pit side for this one. Thank you for joining us here at Karate Combat. Yeah, he was talking about that he was talking uh, crap to his opponent in his native language, which was his last opponent was ah, also yes. French. He's actually only four Frenchmen so far, <laughs> yeah. it's quite surprising. So this is his third Frenchman, yes. and he knows the language, apparently the bad words, I think. He's been practicing. Yeah. But that is total gamesmanship, because out of yep. the pit, he's, he's the most respectful young man you'll ever talk to. 100%. Nice, nice cross kick, kick to the side. Well, just closing the distance there, locking up against the pit wall. And they're going to wait for a stand up from the referee, separating themselves in the end. Tell me, staying light on the feet as he comes forward, and that's a good counter from Marty. Yep. Very good count. You see, immediately, Chelmia gets that head position. That's forcing Marty to be further away from him, not able to execute any takedowns. Good jab to the. The body there. Yep, most of the time it's going to be a setup for something else. Good attack from Marty. Oh, good switch stance to come back in from Chelmia. Looks for that trip, then down to the pick. Good work from Marty. Nice yeah. straight one, two. Very, very straight shots. Yeah, that was great striking. And this kicks, everything is working. Chelmia finds his way in with a left, little exchange, but nobody getting too much uh, in the way of damage there. Going back. Again, that side kick for Mardi. It lands very nicely to the body of Chelmia, and he lands on two excellent shots and circles out. Beautiful footwork from the Frenchman. Exactly. I was just going to say the same thing. He's in and out, connects, connects, and boom, he's gone. And Chelmia moving forward all the time. Yep. That's what his style is constantly. Coming in, coming in, you know? And Marty, you can see he's practiced that weapon to keep the range. <laughs> Solid first round from both guys there. Perhaps Elias Marty getting some of the, the veteran exchanges. I think so, because he was mixing the kicks up better. He connected to him more strikes. Let's take Beautiful. a look at some of the replays here. That was a good kick. I like the calf kick, but I, I like strike. the Yoko Giri that Madri just did, no? So good because he can keep the distance, at the same time he can hurt his uh, Chelman. Yep. Great kick there again from uh, Marty. 
And Lioto, talk to me about this in-out style from Marty. That was the, one, that was the straight one too. one too, but then he got backed up against the corner here, and he hit and circled all in one motion. It was beautiful. So Chaume is a good matchup for Marty because he's coming for us all the time. So for the guy who moves a lot and like to counter, so it's good for Marty because Chaume, he doesn't stop. He always tries to come, and he's in the right range for 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 take some punches and and kicks through. So he's a little bit more predictable because it's constant forward motion. Yeah, but Chum is so aggressive, you can see that. You can see in his face, no emotion, and so aggressive. Uh, second round underway here. Marty opens up with a leg kick. Another side kick. And as you said there, Lioto, immediately aggressive. Chum here once again pressing forward. Beautiful. It's a lot of shots to the guard, but not too much pop on that kick oh, from Marty. Oh. That's a beautiful combination. He gets dropped to the canvas. He's recovered quickly. But it's a good sequence from Chelmier in his most decisive moment of the fight so far. He is a little tasted, it looks like. Yeah, you can see that's why Chelmier is pushing yeah. immediately straight back. And uh, that's interesting defensive posture. Tries to load up the throw. Very interesting. That's very interesting, yeah. Pass, have you spotted any differences in, in uh, the game plans from either of these two from the previous uh, times we've seen them? Well, I, in round two, you saw Chelmia started bouncing a little bit more back and forth. So I think that from the first round, since he was still happy with his performance, because his opponent did really well, you know, he started changing his style a little bit. More loose, right? Yeah. More loose. More loose, yep. And moving in and out and in and out. You see, he didn't do this in the first round. He was just moving forward. Yeah. And Marty's really good with his legs and to keep his opponent outside that distance. But he has to watch out. So the leg, Marty wins that. Yeah. And Chelmi, Chelmi, I think his punches are better. Yeah, when, uh, when Elias Marty joined us, he was the youngest competitor on the entire roster. And, uh, you know, he's still only just 23 years old. Chelmi, by contrast, is uh, you know, just a year uh, older. Yeah, although actually I just said this with the head, but Marty, if I think back about number one, you know, the beautiful one-two that he landed twice, right? That that was yep. really crisp. Yep. Yeah, probably straighter shots than we've seen him throw for. Exactly, a while. yeah. So Chalm, Chalm has a good eye, as you can see, he's, he's not even blink when he's in the in the middle of the fight. No, he can see everything, you see? Yep. Constantly open. Oh, he ate a shot there, though, and that's good head movement from Marty, but he runs out of space. <laughs> Laying backwards, like, come on, buddy. I'm just tanning. <laughs> 30 oh, seconds again. left in round number two. Beautiful one, two. And movement right after. He's doing a great job. Beautiful, look at that. Yeah, but okay, reverse, cool finish it. Yeah. But, you know, he improved a lot. Yeah. And he was yeah. already good, but I, I really like what I'm seeing. I think he's improved in, improved in the clinch as well. Yep. Look at that. The thrust kick, side kick, Yoko Giri. All three same. Looks really good. Last couple of seconds here and another round in the books. Touch of gloves as they part ways. Both still looking very fresh, but a, a good solid work rate throughout. Yeah. Let's take a look back at some of the replays here. Boom. What do you think about this round? Boom, boom. Beautiful. Look at that beautiful combination. He didn't put the power behind that. That's where they connect. That was nice. Can... Look at this. Completely, yep. Yeah. I never saw that. Nope. Keep momentum going. <laughs> beautifully timed. But it didn't work out in the end. That sidekick, that's a great weapon that he has. Yeah, he's really able he to keep the distance well. with that. As we take a look in the corner of Ilias Mardi, looking very fresh, he told us that, uh, you know, his coaches and his training partners had really smashed him in this camp, more so than usual, so he felt like his conditioning was going to be good for all five rounds. Well, that's it, you know, I always tell people, if you're a painter and you bring half a can of paint and so you cannot finish it, why would you be a painter? So it's important to, to, go, to be able to go the full distance. It's a good kick from Marty. It was subtle, but, uh, you know, caught Chelmia stepping forward. Yeah, and it's five rounds, you know, kicks like that constantly are going to be very effective in the end. 
and it show, slows down the movement of your opponent. That was a good kick from Chelmia. Nice front yeah. kick there. That was beautiful. From Marty again. Yeah, he tried to time it into an outside trip, but uh, no luck. Good timing on that counter, a little push. Chomia switching stances around, they're toe to toe now. So as you said, Buzz, he's trying to like bounce a little bit, Chomia. Yeah. Marty's just so elusive when they get into those flurries. That head movement, uh, you know, completely took him out of the way. Yeah, and also the way he moved out of his, his feet immediately. Let him miss, move it to the side. That was a good kick from Chelmia. Good thud to the midsection, but again they tie up and nobody able to get the better of the clinch exchange. One, two, again, he worked on that because they're crisp, they're nice. They are, and Chomia was just happy to take it on the guard. Dangerous it. in the five-ounce gloves, though. He did it again, Marty, moving out of the way. Marty looks, looks more technical, right? Yep. With the punches and kicks as well, and the combination as well. The combinations of them, that's, that's the key here. Yeah, I mean, usually we see that level of technicality from Owen Chomia. Exactly, but you know, now it's like because Marty found a way, I mean, this is how they trained him. They know they were going to fight, face a guy who comes forward the whole time. Okay, so let's do that in training. And that's how you see, see, if he doesn't move, he doesn't move. Yeah. Everything is on the counter. Moving out of the way constantly. So Owen needs to lure him into a corner, but you know, again, look at that. Yep. It's beautiful movement. It's very hard to do, and especially with these corners because you can use the wall. And we do expect this kind of speed Boom. from the 61 kilo fighters. Again, though, Marty eats that in the midsection, tries to fight back himself. They're good shots. Chomia trying to bob and weave and find his way in. Ten seconds left in round number three. We are probably going to be going to the championship rounds. Yeah, if if Chelmia is not talking, he should start talking now. Because maybe when you trigger your opponent and get him angry, that's when they start making mistakes. You know, because Marty is fighting a really good fight. Yeah, strategically very good. Let's take Frank a look at some of the replays very here. Very good, Maigiri. Very good, Maigiri. Yep. Boom! That's kicked to the body there. But closing the distance too fast. Nice. There's a shot. Yeah, a shot of Owen Chelmere and his mother in his corner. Standing, trying to show that he's not tired. But uh, Bas Lioto, there's something that's got to change for Owen Chelmere here. Because you feel like he's starting to drop behind a little bit. Yep. No, and you're 100% right. I mean, it's, uh, it's not mixing it up enough. You know, the movement is... Uh, be di it's di being difficult for him right now. To move yeah, somebody. I don't think I don't think Chama has to change his game. You know, he's trying to play the game of Madri, which is good for Madri. So he has to keep push forward to to put his game. Well, he's got uh, a maximum of six minutes left to do so. Another three on the clock here as we start the first of our championship rounds. Remember to follow us on social media at Karate Combat or join us on the web, karate.com, for all your information on the promotion. Chelmia continually moving forward. We really didn't expect him not to, but... Uh, He's got to find a way to stop the movement of Ilias Mardi here. Yeah, and then again, the one two is being very effective the whole fight. And again, moving out of the way. Tell me, I'm happy to eat shots on the guard as he comes in. Mardi, conversely, is happy to eat one of those to the body as he moves away. They tussle again in the clinch here. 
Not really too much to separate them on that occasion. Oof. That's a good kick again. And again, they tie up once more in the middle. Same kind of exchanges happening repeatedly here. Show me a pushing forward. Oh, and he can't do that's a good sequence. He kicks the legs out yeah. from yeah. the Irishman and flurries on top. Down to the last minute of round number four. Wow. So I can say Madre is so technical. He is he used foot sweep, he used everything. And the Yoko Giri side kick. Which is good, right? Yeah, and, and on top of that movement, his movement is great. You know, every time you get him in the corner, watch, he's going to be out of it in a bit. Oh, okay, this may be the one time it's not. Yeah, I mean, th this is when we're really going to see the pace and, and if the conditioning pays off. The only problem that I see for Madi is the short distance because uh, Chalmers wants the short distance and he has to be very aware at the end of his movement. I mean, like Madri, because, you know, in, in karate you call that Zanshin. You gotta, keep, you gotta be ready for the end of moment to block, to move backward, or to do another combination. Otherwise, Chalmers can have some advantage over Madri in the short distance. Well, we end round number four. We're going to be going to a fifth and final round. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from round number four. Uh, boom. Side kick fights its target. Beautiful right again. This movement, that beautiful kick. And it's a powerful kick. Bang, bang, Ooh, look at that. Very good. Yeah, connected. Kizami Zuki and Gyakuzuki very clean. Yep. Wow, looks very good. One last look at Owen Chalmier in the corner there. Let's see if uh, he comes out firing on all cylinders. He may, he may appreciate that he has to go for broke here in this fifth and final round. He knows, but you know, but he can't. He can't lock him up. It's constantly moving. Yeah, and on the occasion when Marty isn't moving out of the way, he does a good job of initiating a clinch and yep. completely stalling all the action uh, to, to get it reset. Yeah, there's been some great game planning going on in Marty's camp. I can tell you that. Yeah, really good. He did, Marty did tell us that he was mentally more focused for this five-round fight than he's perhaps been for any of his other appearances here at Karate Combat. And I think that's showing. Well, listen, if, he, uh, if he's going to win this fight, um, he's only going to get better and better because the, the improvement he made, improvements he made since last time are pretty dramatic. He was already good. He said in the opening, the guy's already, he's got great, great accuracy, everything. But sometimes he's a little bit too wild, but that wild he took away would be the calculated wild man, wild man, should be his nickname. <laughs> As the time go by, I believe that Chum has more advantage because of the distance, you know? Yep. He has to, to, he's going to the short distance more and more because it's hard to Madrid to keep the distance all the time and stop, stop the guy over there yeah. because it, it, it requires a lot of it. Energy. Marty's escaping less and less out of the corner. Now. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, he is managing to tie it up here, which is buying him time. We've only got two minutes left in this entire fight now. I'd perhaps like to see Chelmia try and break those ties more aggressively and throw the hooks off the break. Yeah. Oh, there again, he landed. Chami's cut the angle really good. He always ahead of Mari. See? Yeah, good uh, pitmanship, should we say? Yeah, but then again, you know, but, but he can't stop him. Oh, it's a big shot. Oh, shot. Chami lands a left hand on the way in. A little bit of ground and pound, and he, he wants Mari back up on his feet as quickly as possible because he's got just a minute and 10 seconds left to go to work here. Well, this happened in round one as well, and Marty survived that. Later in the round, though, it will do more damage, right? A, a punch. So, let's see what happens. 
See here, I'd like to see him try and dictate a break rather than accept a complete reset. The crowd firmly pushing these two fighters on as we approach the final 40 seconds of this championship bout. See, if I was Chelvin here, I would push him away constantly. I would never be in this position right now. Yeah. Because he's got 30 seconds to go. That's what I'm saying. Dictate the break. Constantly. Short yeah. shots off the oh. break. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You said it. We're through a frantic 14 and a half minutes. There's just 30 seconds, well, 20 seconds left now. Chomir again driving forward. Marty on his bike, circling all the time. And that's oh, a nice oh, snapping yeah, roundhouse kick. How cool in the fifth round. Little jumping kick. Three, two, one. That is going to do it for this championship fight here. They both raise their hands up. And it was an impressive performance from both young men. I mean, we've got to remember, both these guys, just 23 and 24 years old. It's amazing. I mean, I, I started fighting at 28 my, uh, my MMA career. It was late. <laughs> but I did Thai boxing before. That, okay. Boom, look at that. Makes a backflip. A backflip from Ilya Smiley. He thinks he's coming up. Yeah. We've got replays coming right now from the fifth and final round. For one more time, gents, give us your thoughts on that last round's action. So I like the cuff kick and also the combination because Chum is always over, over mother. You know? he, he doesn't want to give a time to even breathe. Yeah, he's got frustrated. He wants to go forward the whole time he wants to fight. But Marty's going in and out and in and out. Boom, look at that. Out of nowhere. And that was the last round. Yeah. When he did that, the fifth round. And then he just walked up here and made a backflip. Yeah. It's like, whatever, man, I'm not tired. <laughs> Well, bear with us here, ladies and gentlemen. We are just well. We have got a sixth and final round, unbelievably, for the second time in one night. Our special round provision has been triggered, and Ilias Mardi. There's something going on with his hand. Yeah. yeah. He Has he really hand? broken his hand again? Because he broke his hand against Hasanov. Well, this is interesting here. Yeah, what we ended up with was a potential split draw, but the referees can say that they can opt for another round to try and decide the difference. We, of course, saw that in our opening bout here this evening. Oh, and Chelmi is walking around like there's nothing left in this oh, fight. No. It's going to get waved off. What a strange occurrence. We're just going to get clarification here from our head official and our referee. I think Ilias Mardi has, has uh, either snapped his forearm or broken part of his hand for that sudden death round due to a broken arm or broken hand which means that Owen Chelmia is going to take the win by injury TKO here and become our first 61 kilo champion what a turn of events yeah this is this is crazy I know well the, the, apparently what they say always aggression counts the most they say Right, so the pushing forward had to have been the reason. Well, let's go. We'll break this down a bit more for you once uh, we get the official decision made here. But let's go down into the pits and get the official decision from this title bout. There we see Owen Chelmia receiving the golden belts from our league president, Mr. Adam Kovac, and Sensei Lioto Machida. 
So our new 61 kilo champion is down in the middle of the pit with our broadcast colleague Andrea Ocampo to give his thoughts on that bow. Oh, and quite the finish. Congratulations. I'm sure you're feeling a lot of mixed feelings. Can you please walk us through as to what you're feeling right now? Yeah, definitely. It's a kind of confusing moment. It's what you work extremely hard to get, and that's not the way you want to win. It's very unfortunate, but I have no doubt that we'll run this back, and it'll be a ten times better fight next time. Oh, and very commendable for you both. You know, any thoughts on obviously your opponent? What would you like to say to him? Just, I'd love to fight him again. I'd love to set this straight. Not, not. I don't want to win it this way. I want to finish him or make it completely undisputed. I don't want any arguments against it. Well, you saw it here, folks. The story does not end here. Well, sir, congratulations. For Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Owen Chalmia. What a, uh, what a respectful acceptance speech from Owen Chalmia. You heard it from him. That's not the way he wants to win it. But nonetheless, on this occasion, that is the way he has won it as he raises his new golden belt up into the air and pays respects to the crowd here. As he said, a, you know, a personally confusing finish for him. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more from this young man. Let's get uh, pit side and get Mr. Robin Black's thoughts on that bout. You know, guys, the journey of the martial artist, especially the young martial artist, is about actualizing yourself, becoming your potentialities. And it's experiences like this that help the martial artist grow. Marty, with the injury, having to experience that kind of pain and loss, and then Owen Chelmia winning, but feed that, those feelings of uncertainty. This is part of their journey, and we'll get to see them continue it when they face each other again. Yes, thank you, Robin. We've got a, an extra interview here for you. Our broadcast colleague, Andrea Ocampo, is going to be down pit side with our referee, Mark Goddard, who's going to explain the ending to that bout. I'm standing here with Mark, the referee. You know, that was quite an emotional title fight. I know everybody's reeling. Can you please let us know as to why you stopped the fight? Yeah, at the end of the fifth, uh, under karate combat rules, if the judges denote an overtime round, it needs to be a split decision. It was a split decision, so the, over, the sixth overtime round was announced. Unfortunately, the fighter in the blue corner couldn't answer the bell. He told me he'd broke his hand, and he's since retired himself out of the fight, which means his opponent will win via a valid TKO. Well, thank you so much for that clarification. Thank you. And we're going to take a look back at the montage of action from that title fight, Bass. Let's talk us through this, but, you know, first of all, Ilias Made, what a fantastic way of hiding that broken arm. We had no clue. No clue. Well, that's the last time exactly the same thing happened. He broke his hand and he kept on fighting. I mean, the guy's as tough as nails. I thought he did a phenomenal job. It's the one two that you're seeing it here right now. He landed those most of the time, 80% of them, if he was throwing them. And the movement was awesome. Yeah, talk about his defensive movement, because it was either laterally escaping or he was able to tie up in the clinch. Yeah, and not only escaping, but while he was escaping, he was first tagging the opponent and then he was escaping. So you know, with the legs and the hands included, you know, I was thinking he was leaning a little bit towards him, but you know what? In the rules, it says specifically, and I've been saying this in the openings of the show sometime, that aggression counts the most. And the aggression, the moving forward pressure the whole time, for Owen, that is probably the reason the judges did it. Yeah, and you have to remember that, that rounds are scored individually on each round so you know the judges saw that maybe one round even and two rounds a piece you know it, it's not necessarily the content of the entire fight you can just nick a round and lose a round by a bit more and it still counts one a piece yeah exactly you know and, and, and always started connecting the later rounds more and more and more you saw marty was getting tired but still landing the high kick in the last moment you know escaping escaping what you said actually when he got tired he didn't move out of the corner anymore but he was never out of the fight ever you know, he's still connecting with punches, even the one-two. 